Gentlemen, and welcome to this week's Water Horse. Yes, sir. We had a heck of a show. They did we? have a good show, real good show. Boy, they're really upset about the judges on Facebook. Yes, <laughs> mm -hmm. it was a little different. Well, yeah. but we're we're going we can show something about the judges, but I'm I'm more interested in the inspection. Yes. So uh, after you get your deal, <clears throat> we'll get another deal going. That'll work. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Hall is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Hall is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. Welcome back. Some quick announcements. This is going to be good. I want everybody to try Sam's Town down there. I love that place. Yes. That's where I've gone. Every year, Tunica has been there except one. And I tried another place and went right back to <laughs> Sam's Matter of fact, I went back to, Tunica, back to Sam's Town before we left town. <laughs> All right. Tunica's next week, 16th through the 18th at Paul Battle Arena, call D. Cantrell, 706-366-1011, or Sarah Smith, 931-580-5085. Judges are Derek Bonner, Ross Campbell, and Jamie Hankins. And that's going to be the final show of the year, folks. Yes. So if you're going to have a good time, you best get there quick and then come play three-card poker with me at Sam's <laughs> <laughs> I like it. That's the only time of year I ever gamble. No I, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't even bet, but I love that three-card poker. Uh, we, we've got a lot of talking about inspections. So, uh, and I, I've told everybody, video your inspections. Video them. So I had the opportunity to get a little video this weekend. So we're going to go, and I want everybody to pay attention to the time that is spent 
on inspecting a horse. Now here is a gentleman that's inspecting a horse and he's going over all the paperwork and everything to make sure everything's right. And uh, he, he's doing it the way he's supposed well, to do it. Yes. Well, he experienced with it. Uh, well, he's I've been experienced for, and he knows while, what yes. he's doing. That's right. He's checking all his dots and crossing all the T's. And yes. Just, just getting everything straight, which uh, I believe his name is DeSoul. Mm -hmm. So he's uh, got all their guards around and everything. But I want you to watch how long it takes this gentleman to inspect the horse. And if you look in the right hand bottom corner of your TV, you will see a timer. Now he's thoroughly inspecting the horse the way the Horse Protection Act asked for. He looked at the feet to make sure there was no scars, blemishes, or anything. Then he palpated, got done, put the foot down. Now he checked the front foot. Now he's going to the right foot. Well, Jerry, if you experience and you know what you're looking for or whatever, you don't have to take a long time. No. You know, he's he's no, you know, it don't take long to figure out what he's what he want to do. Well, if 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 you <clears throat> know something, if something's wrong with a horse, you're gonna see it right off, off the, bat. the bat. That's right. Ain't no doubt. All right, fifty-one point twenty-nine seconds. Now watch this one. All right, they done went over the paperwork. So now watch her. And there's a difference in people and the way they inspect. But if you notice, she's got a flashlight out. She's parting hairs. She's doing whatever she can. And then instead of holding the horse's foot down where the other man did, the man did, she's, got, she's holding it up on a limb. Yeah. There's a reason why inspections are done properly and reasons why they're not. And she's giving you an example of someone that is doing their best to find anything that they can call a horse out on. And to me, that's unprofessional. I mean, it just, you know. Well, if. But it, that's the difference between being experienced and not experienced. It is. It's a major difference it's in big, what they're doing. That's right. In the way they're doing it. And then people want to know why we get upset. Yeah, it's that's just right. why we get upset. We get upset because people come back there and they, whatever they can do to cause a problem, they want to do it. And that to me is the most upsetting thing of all. I, I don't agree with the judge in a lot of the times, but here's a prime example why you don't agree with the inspection process. She's got, she's holding the horse's limb where she shouldn't be, in my opinion. Yeah. And if you notice when she's touching him, he ain't moving. It's when she's not touching him that he's moving. But now we'll give her credit for one thing. The horse showed. Yeah. I mean, she did she did not go overboard with the way she was causing it to move. Now there you go. She's through with the front, but now she goes around and gets the back too. And now he's ready to show. So yes. people want to know why I get upset. <clears throat> yeah prime example right there. It just does not make sense. Now, uh, also there was a lot of talk about the judging. Yes. And I, I've seen some, <laughs> you and I have talked about a lot of this. Yes. But we're going to show some horses here. And every one of these horses finished 
in eighth place. Mm -hmm. Every one of them, all three of them. And uh, my thing is, if that's an eighth place, eighth yeah. place horse, just think what the other seven in them classes look like. Oh no, we're we're doing. I'm sorry, we're already doing the the East Tennessee victory passes. Yes. I jump, I jump ship. I'm sorry. I've got a bad habit of that. <laughs> I'm on cue for getting ahead. There is I'm Mighty Jose and Tanner Burke. Why didn't you tell me, Jerry? You was on the road, Jerry. Yeah, no, I was, I was. You was on the road, and I didn't want to stop you when you was on your road there. Well, I was wanting to get to those horses. Yeah. But this right here is a good one. T T Tanner does a good job. Tanner right. does a real good job. And right there is Candy does a good yes. job of riding her. Amateur ladies. Now that Candy horse shows really twice. This, yes. this is an example of what good condition our horses are in. That one showed twice up there. Yeah. That was in <coughs> East Tennessee. And right here, Super Bowl MVP in BB Beasley. Yep. Tell you what, that horse made a good show this past yeah, weekend. Yeah, that horse made a really good show. But now, that class that Super Bowl's in, have you ever seen one stacked like that? Oh, it was a big I class mean, now. My Lord, there's some good horses in there. I mean, good ones. Right here's I'm Big Enough, Maxine Beasley. She made it out, and she showed again this weekend and yeah. made a super good show. Some some real nice, good riders right there. Them girls, I ain't gonna say little girls no more. No, Young they're, ladies. They're driving now. You yeah. better watch out. They catch that's you right. out and run over you. That's buddy. right. Young ladies are real nice people. There's Joe Pa. Shane Porterfield. This is your pro am class. I think that's the first time Shane ever showed him. I believe it is too. Yes. He did pretty good too. Yep, he did a good job, real good job. I like Shane now. Yeah, Shane's, Shane's a good, a good guy. Real he good guy. A good one. Oh well. Wow. Here, protest that. I like that name. Yeah. Come on, protest, protest that. Rack and reserve. Nice horse. That's a nice horse. They want to add the, the, the show up there in East Tennessee. They did. They had a really show. show. Mm -hmm. well, nothing wrong with it at all. And here's a Super Bowl MVP was reserve again. Showing twice. Yes. That's the main reason we show these. I'll tell you what, that young lady can flat ride. I'm going to tell you, them shows up over that area are getting pretty good size. Yeah. Over in East Tennessee, they have some real top of horses. Well, these horses move around. We don't have as many shows as we used yeah. to. So everybody is, is moving out there, going and trying to find a show to go to. Yes. And they keep getting bigger and bigger. Now, we're going to go look at some horses that finished in eighth place. And I want everybody to just think about what the others should, would look like yeah. if these horses are eighth place horses. And uh, right there, is it was a nice eight, horse right here. Real nice horse. Hey, I'm going to tell you something. I told them. You go to the barn any day of the week, 
and say, let me see that horse. Yeah. And he's going to come out, and that's what he's going to be doing. Now, here's another. Look at that horse. Yeah. Eighth place horse. So if that's an eighth place horse, again, what did the other seven look like? Yeah. That, that's, that's one of the things that, that people need to realize. That You know, my biggest pet peeve of judging, I don't care what that horse is doing. If that horse come in front of you, you should show that rider respect to watch that horse that comes in front of you. Don't turn your back. You shouldn't. And, and look the other way. You know. Give that person respect to watch their horse in front of them. Well, there, there's a lot of horses in there, but I'm saying if you've got if you've got a good horse, yeah, all of them should be tying the first place horse is important. important. That's right. But a good buddy of ours from California, Russ Thompson, was the, once said, yeah, he was tying ten horses and people fussed because it took him so long. He made one statement to me. He said, that 10th place ribbon is just as important You're right. as the first place ribbon is to that person. So what I'm saying, put them where they're supposed Both to be. Indeed. That's right. And I'll be honest, I had this one fourth. That's yeah. where I've had Because there's some good horses in there. But there was some that weren't reaching. Yeah. Some was hitting a different type of gate. But that, that's what I'm saying. If you're going to judge, at least judge them all Ju the way they should be judged. The way they should be. But, and those other two, now I'll be honest, those other two horses, I really, yeah. really like both of them. Both of them. So, you know, I don't know. It just, there's a lot of things we got to work on, on this judging, really? inspection, and everything. Well, it, it just, I, I've seen a lot of posts out there about different things, about uh, what people should do. And, and one lady who I respect very, very much made a uh, post about working on the problems that are really bother this industry yes i can tell everybody the people i talked to they didn't get out because of the inspections they didn't get out because of the government they got out because they go through all this yes to get in the ring and then they feel like they haven't been done justly and and that's not just one or two people that's a lot of people yeah. and I, i've heard people I, and one guy, I won't mention his name, but I told him one time, I said, I really thought you won that class. And he said, you know, said, I've won some that I questioned whether I should, but I won them. I got the blue ribbon. So when something happens like that right there, because the other horse was good. Yes. He said, I'm not going to complain. But at the same time, other people, when they know that the horse that tied in front of them was spinning chains, was hitching in the back end, was off in the front end, because they can look yeah. while, while from the saddle. They well, can the see biggest what thing, horses this doing. tire horse is where they need to be. You know, every time somebody shows, that don't mean they have to. They win the class or whatever. No. You know, if no. I show a horse, I don't think I won every class I go in. But you know, if my horse deserves fourth time fourth. Don't tie him eighth, or don't give him a ribbon mm. because it's, it's who's riding the horse. That's it. We got some video from the Celebration Fall Classic. Right here is your amateur two-year-old. And I'm here to tell you now, this was a good class. It was a good class. It was a real good class. Jose's Junebug and Libby Dow took the blue. But now, I liked I'm the boss lady, but that's yes. me. I, Libby was on a good horse, but I liked the boss lady and Bob Adcock. I really did. She's almost a 10, Ronnie Stanfield, Jose Showoff, Carice Hammett, I said it right, Caress, Caress, 
caress Heinemann. That's the proper way to say that. Miss Uptight, Christy Warner. I'm a black gin girl, Gabriel Humminston. Chills main man, Savannah Clark, and Dixie Mile Storm Sims. I talked to Tommy Mills the other morning about that, <laughs> about making yeah. sure I, I pronounce that lady's name correct because his wife named her. Yeah. <laughs> so he, she wants that to caress like the soap. This was a good class. Uh, yeah. I believe you on hers, and she, I thought she had a good horse, yeah. too. I just personally, I like that one right there. But so when that made a real good show on that horse. Well, when it's horses, I get fickle anyway. Yeah. Every time I see a good one, I want to say something about it. And we got a lot of good horses. How do you feel? Do you like the, the ring set up like that, or would you rather have the full ring? When you have that many horses, I'd rather have the full ring. Yeah, because I don't think they were quite planning on what they had, well, but they had some that were packed. A yeah. lot of real large classes. That well, you shorten the curves of the Yeah. Right here is I'm the Boss Lady and Bob Adcock, your reserve winner in the amateur two-year-old Marion Guild interview. I tell you, I like that horse. Oh, I like Big. that horse too. But now you take that ring like that, it just, when you got that many horses in there, it's just, you can't, it's so bound up, you can't see everybody. That's it. Well, another thing is, you got them two year old and three year old, yeah. they look up and see them party table. Oh, yeah. They say, what in the world is going on down here? But they all acted fine. All right, here's your amateur five year old stallion. Super good class. Honored in Texas, and Bob Adcock took the blue. Black Gen Scout, Megan Hammond was reserved. Stalking, Jordan Denny. Juris, Jeff Smith. Honor the, my father, Tanya Strickland. Black Gen's Justification and Miles Irby. And Graphite, with Lucky Collins, finished out the ribbon. That Honored in Texas, Texas is, is a good, good horse. now. Yeah. He is, but I'm gonna tell you, that black gen scout is a good horse too. There's nothing wrong with him. You look up and you've got a ring full of good ones. Yep. That was a good class there, real good class. I thought so. Bob does a good job of riding. Bob does a real good job. I like to see it when they tie someone setting up in that seat. They're on a real good horse. Yeah. I used to watch Joe Martin ride, and he looked like he was belted and yeah. bored in the saddle. He just, mm -hmm. like he was in his easy chair towel. I tell you, him and um, R.M. remind me a lot of Joe Martin. Yep, he does, right he does. He rides a lot yeah. like him. He just like, he, he looks like he's just so relaxed uh -huh. in the saddle that it just doesn't matter. Class horses right here. Hey, it is. That's a tough class. Jeff's on a good one. Yeah. All right, it's my time to have a turn. there he is, honored in Texas and Bob Adcock. Your amateur five year old stallion winner. It's a super good class. Yeah. That's a prime example of a class 
that just full of good Beautiful. ones, and you really start searching yeah. on who to tie. Right here, amateur owned and trained. I'm gonna have to say, I called the winner on this one when after about one lick around, I said, uh -huh. he's got it right there, he is. The Paddock Master and Kenny Smith took the blue for Smith and Har. March 4th, and Chad Adams was reserved. Wallen, Ryan Parker, Stacy Jacks, Mike Powers, and I am Jose Jr. Corbin Parker finished out the ribbons. Good, good class. <laughs> yeah, it was real good class. You know, that's one thing I can say. Even the, we had some classes that weren't really packed, yeah. but they had real good yeah. horses in yeah. them. Mm -hmm. And then we had some huge classes that had a lot of good ones. Paddock Master and Kenny Smith, Smith and Har, amateur owned and trained specialty winner. That's just what you call it, yeah. good old timey, let's flat walk mm -hmm. and get it out of here. I'm gonna tell you something. Sam Barton put on a show. Yeah. I mean, I'm telling you, he put on a show. The Char Queen, Sam Barton took the blue in this class for Beth Beasley. I'm on the honor roll, Knox Blackburn. I'm acting up, Tyler Balkum. Simply Perfect, Winky Groover. Eric C. Kahn, John Allen Calloway, Miss Charlie O, Dan Waddell. Jen in Hills, R.M. Kelly, and Senorita, you know, Thomas Derrickson finished out the ribbon. But I'm, Sam, he was on target with Char Queen. Very impressive. spread out pretty good where you get yeah. a good look at it. That was one thing that I did notice <coughs> about that class. Yeah. Because a lot of classes where you got that many horses in they there. They all bunched up. They're bunched up in a group and it's hard yeah. to see them all. But this is one class they kind of stretched out and got on the rail. Yeah. That makes it easier for a judge because to me, when they're bunched up, is one time that I can see a judge having a problem judging. Yeah. I met a couple that had moved to Tennessee. They live in Lawrenceburg. Mm -hmm. They come to their first horse show. There he is. The Char Queen and Sam Martin for Beth Beasley. Congratulations, Char. Congratulations, Char. 
hard to ask for anything oh, yeah. more than that right there now. I like that walk. Oh yeah, slow walk, oh. shaking, <laughs> pushing and pulling I right mean, there. You're getting it done. Timed up rhythm. Love it. Good job, Sam. Got to get things done the way it's oh, supposed yeah? to be done right. right there, buddy. All right, you're up. We'll be right back after these messages. Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now, this is offspring. Now, Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, now I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young, um, but now I tell you, got, all, got a lot of talent, that Hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. The impact of a meal goes well beyond feeding our bodies. Food can open endless possibilities for people to thrive. Because when people are fed, futures are nourished. Everyone deserves to live a full life. And with your help, together we can end hunger. Join the movement at feedingamerica.org slash act now. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip. And then, boom, adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. We've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411 and see if I can save you money on your communications. All right, now we're going to go to Friday night. That was, yes. that was Thursday night. Now we're on Friday night. What's your best horse? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't going to stick your foot in your mouth. You to say, Nip. I told them all of them. I said I, right. I didn't pick just one. I just all of them. All right, let's go. <laughs> Here was your youth ponies. Now this, this was a good class. He's hot in County Green, took the blue. I am big enough that Maxine Beasley was reserved. I like Jen, Caroline Stanley, and a champ. There's my boy right there, Eli Cunningham. They did great. Yeah. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, that's the second time that that horse has shown the last couple of weeks too. Yeah. So that, that's what really enthuses me about this, is these horses are in such good shape that they can show back to back, they can go the next week, it wouldn't surprise me to see him again down in Tunica. I like that right there. Oh, yeah. But all them ponies are good all now.
you Pony Reserve winner, I am big enough than Maxine Beasley for Beth Beasley. That's a good little pony right there now. He is. And he, you're right, he's big enough to get it done. He's, Look how high he's breaking. He's consistent. Every yeah, time you see him, he does that he's same good. I mean, he's like that all the time. <clears throat> Mr. Dependable. Yep. Right here's Mayor Bill and Dan Waddell for George and Kim Lewis. Tell you what, that was a stake horse. Oh, yeah. And, and won his share of stake classes, too. They put him down this part performance, buddy. He's hard to deal with. Real hard to deal with. Dan does a super good job with him. I, I don't remember seeing that horse when he didn't have a good show. Yeah. You know, sometimes some of them would come in there and they're just off. I've never seen that with him. Here's 15 to an underclass. I am Mo Cash, and Caitlin Rippey took the blue. A kingpin, and Bob Adcock was reserved. Command on parole, and Cheryl Crawford. I'm Rick Jane, Lisa Baum, Stronger, Savannah Upchurch, The Comanche, Pam Russell, Bingo and Dixie, Chuck Ramsey, and my major ordeal, Debbie Eichler finished out the ribbons. I do like that horse. Ain't that horse? That horse is a nice horse. You know, during celebration, he was up quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, they didn't ride him as much. A couple went out there to see him. They could not believe it when they took him out of the stall and yeah. rode him. That he would go out there and perform the way he did. But now, he is a natural walking horse. And I have got the only offspring. That's yeah. a fact. She, she has got it. Pick him up and put him down. Oh, there. he is now. Good horse. He is a good. A horse. kingpin and Bob Adcock took the blue. Or was reserved. I'm sorry. He was a good horse yeah. now. Nice horse. Real nice horse. Bob, he's always in the running. I don't care what, but he is in the running. He got a bunch of good horses. Yes, he does. He got a bunch of good horses, a bunch of talented horses. Hell, he's got a, at a barn with good trainers. Yeah. What they call a good general and good, good men. Mm-hmm. Father and son take <laughs> Amateur ponies. I'm Charlie Black, and Daniel Smith Hart took the blue. My ticket to ride. I like that horse. Ray Abernathy was reserved. Strike, Lisa Baum. As I am, Dr. Ann Ray. Dreamcatcher Santana, Tanya Strickland. Sunset Shady, Rose Ansett. Anthony Davis, Jaden Jackson. And the Joyride, Anne Marie Couch finished out the ribbon. The Joyride. That's what we want, a joy ride. <laughs> i tell you what, that, that pony, pretty snippy. Yeah. Pretty snippy. i tell you what, I, I like Ray Everett. Oh, yeah. And she, 
Where is it? That's a good horse. Oh, there you know, she can ride a horse. Yes, yeah, she can. I can still remember George Ann Pratt said, Oh, Jerry, next year we got a show against Dahlia Smith. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said, well, she's a young girl. I don't care. She, 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 she's coming in the adults next year. <laughs> she said that everybody was re not looking forward to seeing her come into their league. I imagine they, they have that feeling about a lot of these oh, young yeah. ladies. I just think when the bees would get out of this. That's right. And next year they got to contend with County Green. Green. Mm-hmm. So, I'm Charlie Black and Dahlia Smith Hart, the amateur pony winner. Have some good horses. They do. They got some good riders and good yeah. horses. Amateur four-year-old stallions. This was a tough one, buddy. I mean, a tough class, good class. Voyager and Paul Simmons took the blue. He's Mr. Maverick, Gail Holcomb. Showing honors, Ashley Latham Buckley. Buckley. Georgia High Honors, Bruce McDonald. A great honor, Chavney Beasley. In Charleston, Casey Tracy. That's kind of catchy, ain't it? Yeah. Casey Tracy. But Paul made a heck of a show. Yeah, yeah he did. Super good show. Bunch of good horses in that class. Yeah, they did. It was packed to the hilt. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you, there wasn't nothing wrong with the show that we had. Nothing wrong with it. Now, we had a great horse show. Voyager and Paul Simmons, amateur four-year-old stallion winner. Good show. Yeah, really good. Yeah. Paul was just tickled. Mm -hmm. he, he was uh, when I talked to him. But I was watching him after he got that blue. He was, he was, he had that smile from oh, yeah. ear. That's when you feel good when when people they win. They really and truly enjoyed their ride and their thrill for the victory. Oh, yeah. Right here, Show Pleasure Youth. This was a good one. Shane Porterfield, he just bought this horse that won this class for his granddaughter. Okay. Into the wild blue yonder. And County Green took the blue for Shane Porterfield. My Texas Tornado, Maddox Wittenberg. Tijano, Daniel Smith, I love that horse. Uh -huh. Bakersfield, Brooklyn Jones. Chris Angel, Jackson Wittenberg. Well, they had Jackson and Maddox both in there. And I am Boone Gray finished out the ribbons. But into the wild blue yonder, and County Green took the blue. Oh, 
Boone, he he doing a real good job. That's his only second time showing. Is that right? Yeah, you know that's Mike Wilhelm's grandson. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Hey, get them feet wet. Yeah. As a grandfather, I can tell you, we get awful proud of them grandkids. Oh, yeah. Right there he is, into the wild blue yonder in County Green for Shane Porterfield. Show pleasure you. Next time we see that horse, Shane's granddaughter will be on it. Yeah. She sets us. Oh, yeah, she now. sets us. She does. But now I'm going to tell you, her mom is yep. yeah, people old riding the horse. Well, I know. Come from a granddaddy. Hey. From Whitey. Whitey, I mean, Whitey put him in there. Yeah. And I mean, he, you can you can tell too because she looks a lot like C County looks a lot like Candy or Candy looks. Yeah. Vice versa when they ride. When they ride, but so they, they want to sit up in that saddle. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, That's I what amateurs are supposed to ride. They need to do the am am. Yeah. Mm hmm. They need to find a horse. Do that. Yeah. That's, that's it. Yep. All right. It, you're up. We'll be right back after these messages. Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five. To where you check your troubles along with your coat. Days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had since the last time you were here. To old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring breeding season. Minor ordeal. Minor Ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five World Grand Championships, one World Grand Championship, and the Reserve World Grand Championship as well. Minor Ordeal, a major win here in the two-year-old division, our World Grand Champion. Make the call to breed to a true champion, Minor Ordeal. 931-680-0897. Where does your donation to the Humane Society of the United States really go? Their CEO makes more than $450,000. Their top execs make more than $200,000 each. The Humane Society of the United States isn't even affiliated with any local humane societies and only gives about 1% of the money it raises to local pet shelters. So you want to help homeless pets give to local shelters learn more at humanewatch.org more of what a horse coming up okie dokie we got just a little more video and then we can call it a wrap but yes, now I, I, this amateur championship class that was that was a good class. Oh, was that it really class? was yeah. a good class. Amateur championship was won by <coughs> Uptight Jose and Bruce McDonald for Robin and Bruce McDonald. Good Samaritan and Pam Russell was reserved. A King Thane, Bob Adcock, Mr. Magnifico, Ashley Case. Dim the lights, Sadie Parsons. First Lady Milana, Ronald Midkiff. Hawks Miss Camelita, Emma Thompson. And Cash Reaction, 
Kim Wilder finished out the blues. Wider, not Wilder, wider. This was a tough class. Yeah. A bunch of good horses in there. A bunch good, of good ones. Horses. One of my favorite amateurs. I've got several, but he can bet he's one of them. And I always enjoy talking to him. But Bob yeah. Adcock's another one. We have some very interesting conversations oh, yeah. with, with people that are knowledgeable about our horse. Tied Jose and Bruce McDonald, your amateur championship runner. Bruce is a good one now. He's the same way every time you see him. You know, I've noticed that he does not get upset. Yeah, yeah he's the same way. I've been knowing Bruce Bruce for a long time. Level, just better rip. Always willing to help. Yes. The other night he said, well, I guess we'll see in a minute if we're going to show or not. <laughs> right here is your walking horse championship. This is canter class. And I'm going to tell you, there wasn't but two horses in there, but they were two exceptionally good horses. Honor and Remember took the blue with Dan Waddell in the saddle for Kim Lewis. And Stoned on Jen, Edgar Abernathy for Maria Bobo finished out the ribbon. But I'm telling you, both of these horses were good, yeah. real good. And I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I love that Honor and Remember. I've liked him ever since the first time I saw him. And I have not changed my opinion. Oh, he's a nice horse. Hey, he is. He got a good canter. He got all three gates are good. But now Edgar's horse was too. Oh yeah. I mean he had Well, when you see two go head to head like that, that are that good, uh -huh. then you, you feel like you've accomplished something. <clears throat> oh, yeah. You get that blue. Working them horses, them stake horses. You you teach him how to go that one more time on that running walk. You, you know they gonna ask that every time. Just about every time yeah. they do. And that's and you teach him how to. Here we go, walking horse championship canter winner, honor and remember and Dan Waddell, Jim, George Lewis. 
I tell you something what a fun talk to Kim's husband, Jordan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's a super good guy, but he just and he ninety nine point nine percent of the time he is just laid back. Just got that smile on his oh, face. Yeah. Like that's a good, good. <clears throat> well, we got to find some stuff for next week's show because uh, as of right now, we don't have a show this weekend. Yeah. But now, Wednesday of next week, we will be leaving out of here for Tunica, Mississippi for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I'm, lo- yeah. I'm looking forward to that show. It's going to be my final show that I attend out of state. But, uh, I'm looking forward. I'm yeah. looking forward to seeing the horses. Looking forward to the crowd. I'm because normally Tunica has a pretty good crowd. Yeah, but I now, mean, but now Jerry, tell the truth. What? You looking forward to playing that? What poker that is? Yeah, I'm gonna play a three card <laughs> poker. You, you can bet on that. Jimmy used to tell him. I'm gonna tell a quick story. The first time we went down there, nobody was videoing horses. Mm-hmm. So they come over and ask me, and I told them how much it's going to be. And I'd have to give them just a copy of the class, and they paid me. I wished I'd never done that, because when I got back, I had to write Jimmy a check for two thousand dollars, because I had the money in my pocket. I was just betting, betting, <laughs> stupid, stupid. So after that, Jimmy always warned everybody, get him off the table. So I've started going with so much, and I don't sell nothing while I'm there. <laughs> I don't, I just, let me go, let me go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we will see all of you again next week when I will bring or have Jerry Williams come over. He always brings an audience with him. We yeah, got a young right. lady over here in the corner watching us. But now she can see the TV. That's right. She says she get, she got the best seat today. You got you got to bring your fans with you. You don't have no fans. So you got to bring them with you. Yeah, we, we'll, we will pay you. Just, <laughs> That's he right. will pay you. Just give us a holler. All right, we'll see everybody next week. Have a good weekend. Y'all be safe and careful out there. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down a low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.